hello you guys welcome back so i am currently 37 weeks i know it's been a very long time since i post a video but i just could not fall like fluctuate being home and going to work full time it was just i feel like it was too hard on my body and then next week uh my maternity leave will start thank god because girl my son is so heavy like my back hurts so bad anytime that i walk and i don't know i'm honestly like ready to just uh, give birth already i have been having contractions um and i have had two labor scares when i've gone to the hospital and got checked out because the pain was definitely um there and i it scared me enough to go to the er yesterday in the night i had gotten some really horrible contractions and then i was like is it time it cannot be time because i don't even have i don't have his diaper bag ready i have the stuff i just haven't put it together and i also thought i don't have a bag for myself like that's like a main necessity that i need to take care of my body afterwards and i don't have anything i don't have like the diapers i don't have the spray i don't have like not like literally i have nothing you guys let me grab all my stuff and then i'll see you guys inside i kind of have an idea of the stuff that i need i took a screenshot of a girl on tiktok like she posted like what she put in her hospital bag so i'm kind of just gonna go buy out some of that before we get anything you guys they have all this halloween stuff my son will be about i think almost three months then but if he's born right now um, well we're basically in august september october two i should probably get like three months stuff this is what happens when you send me to target by myself and i'm about to buy unnecessary items but these outfits are stinking cute look at these little pokies see this is this is this type of shit that i be spending my money on that i know i don't need but i do i do need so these are the last part i'm gonna take these look at these socks. little boos taking those and then i'm gonna get him this three months onesie too and it has little little pumpkins on the bottom Three months, but I'm just gonna take six months because I'm pretty sure he's gonna fit in it. Okay, maybe we should get out of this aisle. Back to the um, maternity items that we need. We need. Okay, so I know I need one of these. Definitely need one of these because I know the one from the hospital just is straight and it doesn't shoot where you need it, which is down there. So definitely gonna get one of these. This half disposable um postpartum underwear but i'm gonna get some other brand it's um i'll show you it right now instead of buying the frida expensive one i'm gonna get the always one and it's like it's the same thing it has a pad it has an underwear it's just way cheaper than the frida brand i also need to get some of these cooling pads so that i can put on the lining uh these are only eight bucks so i'm gonna get one of these Day two. Okay guys, it is the next day and I need to get my diaper bag ready. I feel like this week coming up, I might give birth. I don't know, I feel like my stomach, I was telling my sister and all that, my stomach right here in this area, it feels sore to the touch. Like, like this is all my skin can stretch. Like, let me show you my bump. I feel like that's as big as it can stretch. Even to take like a deep breath, it literally hurts right here. But anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Let me get into getting this diaper bag ready. So I ended up getting this diaper bag from Target. It is huge. And the only reason why I got it black, I feel like it just matches a lot of what I have. Like most of my bags are black and I don't know, I just feel like it just goes. And it has enough pockets. It's big enough to hold all his stuff. So, and in case Adrian helps me like, it's not like a little kid backpack, you know? And then I was looking at some and I don't like the little elephant, you know, like the safari thing. I feel like that's like very old school. 
I'm gonna leave this link down below if you guys wanna check it out. I got it at Target. It says it has 14 pockets, so we'll see. Take out everything from inside because it has a lot of papel. It even comes with a little um, changing mat, which I think is very necessary just because you never know. And plus, I don't trust like laying my child down. Like if I go to the store and you know how they have those diaper changers, I don't trust just putting them on there. So this is always good to have as well. Oh, look, and it even comes with an extra strap in case you wanna like wear it like crossbody. That's cute. It's like a little strap. Okay, already I know I'm gonna be able to fit so much in here. Look how big this is inside. Just inside this, there's like five pockets, like around, just inside here. And then this is for when you have your, like, if you're taking bottles with you, just to keep it at a certain temperature. I think that was really good. And look, so your like bottles aren't like moving around. They have a little, um, what is this? Like little elastic -y thing for your bottles. And sorry if the light keeps going in and out, it's just today's like gloomy, but then it's sunny. I don't know what's going on with the weather. I'm gonna put a little image right here of, the, of a screenshot I took from a girl on TikTok of what you should have in your diaper bag. And then I just added some stuff that I thought I would need as well. Only thing that I know that I do need to go get is a pacifier because um, in the ultrasounds, my son has been like sucking on his thumb. So I know he's in a like passies, so I need to go get me one. Um, I just haven't found the one that I want. So um, I do need to get that. That's the only thing that I'm not gonna have in the bag. Um, but first, I'm gonna start with my diapers. I do recommend buying a small pack of the newborn diapers. And then when he arrives, check to see how fitted they are. If the newborn diapers fit him like, like perfect, like, like a glove, then most likely he's gonna be uh, jumping into the size one like in a week or two. So just keep buying the smaller packs. That's the way that I've always done it. So I got the newborn. There's 31 diapers in here. I got the newborn one and then I'll just see how the newborn fits him just because the doctor did tell me that he is pretty big. So I don't want to over like get him a big box and then it just goes to waste, you know? <laughs> They smell so good. Look how tiny these are, you guys. It's like literally the size of my hand. Oh my god. I want to cry a little bit. <laughs> I cannot believe my son is going to be fitting me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take about 15 diapers in my diaper bag i know they give you some at the hospital but i just want to take my own as well so i'm gonna put this in the bottom i'm also gonna take wipes as well i should probably put the wipes on the side huh? it's like a puzzle this was not on the list i'm taking a baby formula just in case my milk does not come in by the time he's here um, the only reason why I am taking it is because the hospital that I am going to deliver at, they're really high on breastfeeding, so they won't provide you with formula. So I'm just taking it just in case, because I, I don't want my baby to be hungry. So I did buy one. Well, I have two of these, um, but I'm going to take it just in case, because, I mean, you never know. Like, what if, what if my milk doesn't come in and I don't want him, like, starving until it does? Usually my milk um, does come in. But, um, I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry, you know? And then I'm going to take one little thing for his nose. I'm also going to take him a towel for when they shower him at the hospital. I know they have one there, but, I mean, I just want to take one just in case. And I'm going to take four of these small birthing cloths. For clothes you guys I could not decide on what size to take for him because like I said my doctor said the baby is gonna be big so I threw in a bunch of newborn and zero to three just in case because this one right here is three months but it looks really tiny like really small look at the little pants 
is like a little PJ thing. I'm gonna take this one just in case. And then see, this one is zero to three. Zero to three months. I'm gonna take this one as well, just in case. I'd rather have, have a few options than not have anything at all, you guys. Okay, and then this one is uh, three months, zero to three months. So I'm just gonna take them this one as well. And then I have a brown one in that color. And then I'm also going to take an outfit that my mother-in-law knitted for uh, the baby. She gave it to me on my baby shower. And <laughs> this is the shirt. I mean, I feel like it might fit on because, I mean, it might. I don't know. But I'm going to take it anyway because I would like for him to have, like, a picture wearing this when he's, like, out, you know. This is his little shirt that she knitted. And <laughs> she made him little pants to go with it. And she also knitted his little booties. They're like this. I feel like they might fit him because his foot is really big, you guys. Like, maybe it just looks big in the ultrasound. I don't know. But I'm going to take it just in case just because it is a cute little outfit. And it is really meaningful that she made that. So I'm just going to take it just to try it on him, you know. I did get him a couple of mittens. And then the socks. I did provide as well two types of sizes so this is a this is a newborn size so freaking cute <laughs> I can't believe she's gonna be so small okay and I got them um, zero to three just in case just just in case you never know and I have a few options of those sizes as well I'm gonna take two swaddles. I'm gonna take this one and this one. See, look, I fit so much in there, you guys, and look, it's literally right to the top already. So much stuff went in that big pocket. The only thing I didn't put in there was the white piece. The white piece, I put them on the side just so they're easier to grab. I do need to boil this bottle, but I'm gonna take a, a bottle just in case since i am taking formula uh for him just in case like i said if my milk does not come in um i do not want him to starve so i'm gonna take this one so this is the bottle that it comes with it's supposed to be like fucking all so he doesn't have uh colicos like gas or whatever so taking this i do need to boil it i'm just putting it in there so that i remember and i'm gonna take I'm gonna put in there two waters of these just uh, just in case so I can make the bottles and I'm not waiting on the nurses. And I'm gonna switch the water bottles. This is just like a visual for me to have that I need the bottles, okay? And then the last thing that I'm gonna pack that is just something additional. I know they provide you with soap when they shower him and lotion and stuff, but I'm gonna take my own just so that I can have that option in case you never know you guys i'm just trying to be over prepared and being over prepared never hurt anybody i'm going to attach this one on there just in case i just don't want to lose it i feel like it'll be easier for my man to grab like grab and go when it's time to go oh my god i cannot how am i gonna look walking around with this how this looks It is definitely a big old, big old bag, which I can use as a backpack as well. It's okay for it to look this big for your first time to go to the hospital, you guys. After that, I'm not going to need all this extra stuff. This is just to receive him at the hospital, you guys. So that is it for everything that I'm putting in my diaper bag. Honestly, I feel like just yesterday i announced that i was pregnant i did assemble a little um grip thing and i attached this little changing table because um if i'm here in the living room i kind of don't want to be going to the room you know and like changing him so i put this right here it's a little changing table that attaches to this thing right here and then i need to put some blankets in there as well and i also purchased this um three-tier caddy I don't know if you guys can 
me show you guys. This three tier caddy. I haven't put nothing on it yet, but I'm just gonna put like on the top like his diapers, wipes, like little baby essentials. On the bottom, I'm gonna put some stuff for me and uh, just anything that I would need in the living room. So I'm not going back and forth into the room here. I'm not saying my house is big, but this you this helps a lot to have um, in your home. Just so that you can have access to this here and then you can have access to it when you go to the room. So I think this is going to be very helpful. I know you guys, I'm just ready. I'm ready to go already. I feel like I'm ready to give birth. I am ready to meet my son. It's going to be such a big difference around the house having a tiny little human in the house. We're all ready for him just any time now. Let me know down below if you guys are interested in any other videos right now that I am on maternity leave. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.